Hi, I'm Greg, and here are some highlights we shared at the Google for Games Developer Summit. Let's talk about some important product updates and announcements, including new tools to help you build great Android games, updates to help you connect with more players, and reach higher with larger screens. Let's start with quality. App quality is the foundation of everything that we do at Android and Google Play. Android users expect a great experience from the apps and games they download. We've recently launched a number of new features in Android Vitals to make it easier to monitor and act on any issues. First, core vital metrics have been updated with user-perceived crash rates and ANR rates, and the ability to view the quality bar per phone model. Second, you'll now also receive warnings if there's a risk that your app's visibility will be affected. And third, starting today, Android Vitals will include frame rates for games in the form of measuring slow sessions, so you can understand when your game is visually janky across the device ecosystem. We've also introduced a range of new tools and services to help you improve the quality of your game. Today, we're announcing support of symbolication for Android ANRs when using the NDK. After all, ANRs account for a significant number of unintended application exits on Android. Additionally, we've improved support for Unity stack traces, including Unity on-demand fatal events. And lastly, Crashlytics now supports memory debugging for GWP ASAN-enabled games. This will help you diagnose the trickiest memory problems and security vulnerabilities. All of these improvements make Crashlytics an important part of your quality toolkit. So we're taking the Android game development kit further to help you with game stability and performance. First, We've started introducing a suite of adaptability APIs to help your game respond to the changing device performance and different thermal scenarios. With the Android Dynamic Performance Framework, there's a hinting library that can send signals about your workload to the CPU so that your game can tap into performance when you need it and save power when you don't. There's also a thermal API to listen during runtime when the CPU is about to thermally throttle, then adjust your workloads like your game's level of detail to smooth performance without overheating the device. We use this on the Pixel Phone system UI to substantially improve frame drops, and a growing number of OEM devices and game engines will soon begin supporting these adaptive performance features. So stay tuned. Lastly, on the tools side, we've introduced profile guided optimization in our Visual Studio extension, which will help you automatically optimize commonly used code paths like your game loops. I mentioned earlier that building and connecting with your players is key to the success for many games. That's why we're creating more opportunities to help you find new players or engage and reacquire existing ones. Custom store listings are another powerful tool that allow you to differentiate your store detail pages. You can help boost conversions by creating up to 50 custom store listings with customized screenshots, pre-registration status, languages, and more. We've now introduced inactive custom store listings so you can target new or churned users, including deep links, with a different story about how to come back to your game. Lastly, we have to mention the growing large screen cross-platform gaming opportunity, which is stronger than ever on Android and Google Play. The beauty of Android is that your one game can be adapted easily to reach all these screens. And we've made a lot of progress to make these screens great for players to experience games on them. We're also going further with Google Play games for PC. Last year, we launched to incredible reception in 13 countries, including South Korea, the United States, and Taiwan. With a catalog of top-tier games and over 10 billion monthly sessions on mobile, our users have met this product with enthusiasm for its high-quality, high-performance emulation and cross-screen gameplay. Thank you to all of our early adopters, and get ready for more updates this year. We are expanding to more regions and including more games in the coming quarter. And I'm pleased to announce we'll be expanding to Japan in the next couple of months. This opportunity is amazing for the next wave of games coming to the platform. Speaking of which, I'm pleased to announce several games that will be joining the lineup in the coming weeks and months. Starting today, we're making it much easier to join Google Play Games for PC with your existing mobile build. No need to recompile for x86 right away. Fully optimized games are the best for users and qualify for unique cross-platform marketing and promotion. But if you're still working on those optimizations and want to reach players faster, we now offer the option to submit your mobile build in the meantime. You can let us know you want to participate at the link that you see here. That brings us to the end of Play and Android's announcements. Thank you to everyone for listening in. And remember, 
you must gather your party before venturing forth. Check out the video playlist you see here for additional sessions on everything we spoke about today.